Claims of physical harassment and racial profiling. An East Bay mother is angry at Whole Foods, which she says accused her 13-year-old of stealing. But the company insists there's more to the story. Good evening, I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Dion Lim in for Amadates. Thanks for joining us. Now, the mother believes her son was targeted because he's black. Yeah, she's now demanding an apology. ABC 7 News reporter Alyssa Harrington has more now from her and Whole Foods. My children were born and raised in this community. They should be able to shop safely at the local health food store. But Marlena Henderson says employees at Whole Foods in Oakland racially profiled her teenage son, kicked him out of the store, and then defended their actions by saying he was aggressive and used other terms that stereotype young black boys. This happened back on December 21st. The 13-year-old stopped into the Whole Foods near Lake Merritt to buy his mother a Christmas gift. Marlena says he made the honest mistake of taking his basket into the restroom. Two men in polo shirts came in after him and um, yelled at him, uh, accused him of stealing. I was horrified because he was just trying, he was trying to be independent, he was trying to be responsible, he was shopping for gifts, he was trying to be generous. Marlena posted this detailed account of the incident on social media, which has now been shared hundreds of times. Some people are threatening to boycott Whole Foods. She hopes this leads to change. They need to apologize to my son. I think they also need to have some sort of training with their management. Whole Foods released a statement saying the company has zero tolerance for discrimination. It also says, we conducted a full investigation of the situation, including the review of surveillance video, interviews with loss prevention and accounts from other individuals who witnessed the event. While we cannot share specifics as the customer is a minor, what has been described on social media does not coincide with our findings. In Oakland, Alyssa Harrington, ABC 7 News. A shooting at a law office in Long Beach led to the deaths of a man and the suspect this afternoon.